Hey everyone, it's the Angelic Alchemist, two in one, di in one week, pretty cool, huh? So, I'm here to talk about some, some pros, well, apparently, I'm not sure if it's real or not, but some, um, well, sorry, I'm trying to find a good spot for my phone, here we go. Some supposed merchandise for the Olympic Games that include anime characters, they're not the official mascot that they made, I saw those when I was in Tokyo, in November with my mom for a trip. She had promised to take me at the lot. It's not important. But the, um... They, for the games this year, next year in Tokyo, the summer games, I hear something. As you can see, it had... What I'm going to talk about today is the fact that the Moon and Naruto are not Naruto, Goku are both on this piece of work and piece of merchandise. The thing was is that when the games were announced in Tokyo, my friend and I started arguing about them using anime characters as a sort of goodwill mascots. He said that Goku from Dragon Ball Z. As you can see, I am a fan myself. I have my own Dragon Ball necklace. Deserved to be the one and only one. And I'm like, and I was all like, no. Sailor Moon has just as much right to be there. His reasoning is it's been around longer. It's an older aunt. It has more episodes. Um, It's better known around the world. It's had a bigger impact. Blah, blah, blah. More movies. Big whoop. Sailor Moon has done a lot. If just just as much as Dragon Ball Z with a lot less material. It only had two movies and no and two hundred episodes. And yet it's awesome. And technically speaking, the final season didn't even make it to America in the original dubbing process. They literally cut it off after Sailor Moon Super S. And yet, that series is still beloved around the world. It's still known around the world. Other characters in the on the merchandise include um, Astro Boy. Um, I don't know that character. Jibanyan, Naruto, Luffy, and a pair of Pretty Care. Of course, those were Pretty Care from a couple of years ago. Sorry, I had something on my finger. Those were older pretty cure, but still. Literally, most of this stuff is series for boys. And the main reason why my day, my friend says that Dragon Ball Z deserves the spotlight is because it encompasses the competitive spirit of the games more. And I get that, I respect that, and I'm fine with that. But what bugs me is that he's like, Dragon Ball Z should be the only, Goku should be the only unofficial mascot, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no. One, that's sexist, because Goku is male. Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball started out as a boys series, or shonen. I mean, come on. Shonen Jump. That literally means, shonen means boy. Little girls can read it too. Look me, I like Dragon Ball Z. I mean, come on. I have a freaking Dragon Ball Z necklace. Dragon Ball necklace. I used to have, I think I still have uh, one of those Goku figures that they gave out at, at Burger King. And, but, Sailor Moon is for A, for girls. B, actually takes place in Japan. Dragon Ball Z takes place in who knows where, in some sort of totally different version of Earth. Sailor Moon actually takes place in Japan and you can actually see Tokyo Tower in the anime. I visited it, so I know. I've seen the real life Tokyo Tower. That was a fun trip. Another thing about Sailor Moon. It actually has actual stores in Japan. I visited one. Well, technically, it was like little stalls. It's weird in Japan, but still, I got some Sailor Moon stuff while I was there. But the thing is about Sailor Moon is that... It did have a big impact on the anime world. For one thing, 
It was around... I th honestly can't recall exactly if Dragon Ball Z and Sailor Moon started up on Toonami at the same time. But I do know that Sailor Moon definitely have an impact because that was like the first Magical Girl anime I was exposed to. And because of it, it, it was probably the first Magical Girl anime that really made it around the world. Which opened the doors for a lot more series like Pretty Care, for example. Or as it's known over here in certain aspects as Glitter Force. Another thing that puts Sailor Moon, makes Sailor Moon more, or at least as equal to, let me rephrase that. Basically, that makes it as worthy, or if not more so, to be honorary mascots, is the fact that it actually has characters who do sports that are in the Olympic Games, besides just martial arts. And heck, there's a character in the game, in the series that does martial arts. Sailor Jupiter, she is a martial artist. We actually see her in a few episodes in a game. Doing martial arts. Sailor Mars, she is literally a Shinto priestess. That literally is part of Japanese culture. Sailor Uranus is an actual, is a, is a racer. She will, she can sprint. She's fast. Sailor Neptune and Mercury both have an aptitude for swimming. Sailor Moon's pretty fast too, but I'm not going to really count her because she's a bit of a klutz. Sailor Venus, a volleyball player. He is literally ignoring these facts, and I've told him to him multiple times, but honestly, I want to know what you guys think. Am I right that Sailor Moon has every right to be... An honorary uh, kind of mascot for these games. Or is he right? Is Dragon Ball the only one that should be? Which I honestly think is kind of stupid. Or maybe you have a suggestion for what anime you think should be up there. I mean, I would probably take out that one weird looking kid with the weird big black eyes and white dots. And put in Izuku Midoriya from My Hero Academia. Honestly, I like that series a lot better. Because I get that, that guy is probably from a, like a run, long running anime, and Astro Boy is one of the first animes ever. Sorry, you couldn't see my finger. I was gesturing to the computer screen. And I get why Jibanyan's on there. Because he's technically a character from. based on uh, Bake Neko, an actual yokai in Japanese myth. And like I said, who, who do you think's right? Who would you put on the merchandise? Who would you choose? I would really like to hear it from you, but that's all for now. I'm the Angelic Alchemist. I make videos about what I want, when I want. Catch you next time.